Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Impossible Mowers. In today's video, we got this Poulon Pro for free. Stay tuned. Like I said in the beginning of today's video, guys, we got this brand new Poulon Pro for free. Uh, I believe it's from 2005. It might be from 96. I, I can't remember. I'll have to check the model number again. But um, I'm going to give you guys a quick look around of what we got here. And uh, yeah, so automatically stance mode. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. If we look over here. We got the original Poulon Pro wheels, the old uh, Poulon Pro rims. This had, this has a 42 inch deck, um, had a 19 horsepower engine in it. It was a Kohler twin cam, which I'll show you in a sec. Um, and it's a six speed and I love my six speed manuals. They're so much fun. And this one, I thought it was a Spicer, but it might actually be the best transmission we've had yet, which is a oiled, peerless six speed trans on the column we've had the six speeds where it's on the crotch or a three speed like chuck on the column but a six speed on the column mwah, wee wee it's the creme de la creme of lawnmower transmissions in my opinion um but anyways enough blabbing about that we got beautiful throttle i mean that's just so silky smooth really nice clutch works brakes work we got a beer holder, which automatically this mower is good in my book. And uh, we got this worn out seat. It's We're going to replace it. It's not fully gone, but that's just cosmetic stuff. We do got to give this thing a power wash. I'm out of gas with my power washer, but I will be making a power washing video with this thing. Um, real, uh, pr probably right after this video comes out. Um, crank the old John Deere over and pressure wash this baby. Anyways, you can see here, give you guys a nice camera shot. I might put some new taillights in here, I don't know. But we're definitely going to be getting this thing some better tread because this is good for mowing. But my dream with this thing is I'm going to make this into a lawnmower because I have the deck, which I'll show you in a second. But I want it so that if it has to, it can do some things like towing. It can go off-road. It can do the things that I think every lawnmower should be able to do, um, but just 10 times better. So, uh... That's what we're doing there. See the old six speed, it has to be adjusted. You can see how this, it's kind of hard. Not bad. But it also needs to be adjusted, like I said, because that is six, five is four, three is two, two is one, one is, wait, hang on, six, five, four, three, two, one. So neutral is one. And then half a reverse, half of the reverse, Jesus, half of reverse is neutral and then reverse. So like I said, reverse, neutral, first gear, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. So it's a good unit. Um, I don't even know this thing drives yet, but usually a way you could tell if a transmission, especially if it's a manual, which is why I love these things, you can always tell if the trans is good by doing three big things. Thing number one, move that shifter up and down through every single gear. Make sure it's got all six, all reverse, and it goes into neutral just fine. If it kind of it's a if it's a little stiff like this, that's okay. Just grease it up a bit. There's a little arm that hangs off the rocker. There's a little rocker arm. I, I'm not talking about the one in the motor. I call it a rocker arm because it kind of rocks back and forth, and it makes it so that you have a linkage and it goes into your gears like that. So it's got a little arm, and sometimes that arm can get pretty rusty or full of grass and dirt, and then that makes what you can get with a hard shifting. It, it makes it makes it really hard to shift sometimes, but with a little bit of cleaning up, a little um, pressure washing power and some grease, it'll smoothen right up. Um, but, uh, let's see, number one, 
always shift your gears make sure they all go in and a big one is pop it in neutral and see if it rolls if it does not roll you could have a stuck gear or if it rolls but it makes like a really grindy noise something's not right so this one luckily has none of those issues it rolls fine in neutral i'm not going to roll it right now because I just, it took me a while to get it parked here um and so it's fine and then the third one that i like to do is put the motor in or crank the motor over and then put it into a gear and see what you got so that's three big ones but uh this one i think is just gonna be fine they usually are pretty pretty tough um the tires are still fine um they're just a little low on air they just got to get aired up no holes in them they still hold funny thing and i'll actually tell you the story about this after i show you everything about the lawnmower but this mower um has a mowing history this used to be able to mow but something happened which i'll show you and i think it was the reason why it stopped mowing but i'll show you that like i said with the blade deck now enough jabbering pull on pro here boom ta-da no engine so you're probably all thinking why did i buy this with no engine if i bought this with no engine and i have plans to put an engine in here what engine am i putting and the biggest question will it fit so i'm going to answer the first one for you right now i bought this with no engine simply because the transmission automatically we have three body components here that are worth more than four hundred dollars we have the transmission which are worth about two to three hundred working use condition we have a hood which is two hundred dollars brand new maybe a hundred and it's probably worth about 30 bucks right now maybe if i gussy it up a bit shiny it up i can probably get it to about 60 70 bucks and the body the body is immaculate no rust it's just needs pressure washing um so those are the big reasons why i bought it for answer number one answer number two i am planning to put well let me start off like this this thing had a 19 horsepower twin cam Kohler courage which i'll show you in a second and the reason why i took it out is because it's seized the motor's locked up there was no oil in the dipstick the carburetor is just it's bent so i'm assuming somebody either ran something over with it tried to tap it over because something maybe they tried to tap the bowl with a wrench or something i don't know but what's really common with those twin cams is there are a, there's a flywheel right so here's your flywheel and then you have eight or nine bolts surrounding underneath the flywheel and when you take those bolts off there is your two cams there's some engines come saying dual cam and some engines come saying twin cam difference is none there are a bunch of plastic piece of junk gears of a twin cam i used to own a twin cam in chuck uh, a long time ago and it was the best thing i ever ever owned but i think i just got lucky what's really famous with these motors is the bolts from the vibration over time back all the way out and when you don't catch it it catches on the flywheel knocks off all the bolts seizes the engine shut so and you cannot fix those kind of problems because when it takes that engine bolt and it shears it it cracks the casing around it it cracks just everything goes to hell in a hand basket so that's why Kohler Courage's um the twin cam Kohler Courage's suck like they just they suck if you got one in your engine get rid of it put something different because not only you're going to put more money than you should into it but you're going to put a lot of that time and effort for nothing just for that thing to seize up but with all that said and done it used to have that Kohler in it and now I will show you in a minute here it is going to have a Briggs and Stratton V-Twin, the same V-Twin that was in Krusty in the shop. And I'm, I'm gonna explain to you why, hold on. But automatically, we learned our lesson with the Cub Cadet. The Cub Cadet, no offense, had a trash engine. I mean, we put more money into that thing than we should have. It just didn't like to run up the grassy hills. Like every time I would try to get a right up to this grassy knoll right up here, it would just start to surge even when we got it here brand new it just didn't like it the trans didn't like it and i don't blame it because it's mowing deck um is 42 inches and this like the max height was only like five inches six inches so with thick grass really thick grass on this knoll going up a steep hill with your body weight on it mowing a lot at the same time a lot of work a lot of pressure on the transmissions the automatic ones at least 
But with that being said, what I should have done with that thing was V-twin swap it, but we didn't have one at the time, and buying a used one is pretty expensive. They can range to about three to four hundred dollars for a good one. You might get lucky and get one for like eighty bucks at a scrapyard, but um, you know, it's it's kind of tough to find um a V-twin at a low cost around here. But with that being said, we learned our lesson and I wanted to pick up something to mow the lawn that could do so it could do so at a good 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 job I want this mower to tow to mow and to be off-road worthy so because it's a manual it's going to be sitting lower than a hydrostatic look how low that is you have so I mean Jesus look how high that is you have so much space in ground clearance between the bottom of the trans and the ground and these are all these are flat tires not completely flat but they're not they need some air so there's that but we're gonna put a v-twin in here now the biggest question how are you gonna do it will it fit well I'll tell you right now it will fit I'm with a little bit of measuring I had to do this with Chuck because this is pretty much the same engine bay single cylinder engine bay um, we might have to drill out these two rear bolts boom and boom but one thing I like about these years is they come with these little two bolts, little extra bolts around, all around for your engine, so I'm not too sure. I'll have to do some measuring, but I think it'll fit because it fits with Chuck, and Chuck has the same, pretty much the same frame. Um, the front's just a little different up here. Um, but yeah, no, we're going to put a V-twin Briggs in it, 24 horsey, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. The one thing you gotta do when you're converting color wiring with Briggs and Stratton is you gotta take the alternator recharge system right here. You gotta clip all the wires and replace the plugs to fit a Briggs and that's really easy. All of this will be caught on our channel so don't worry about it. Um, but getting back to what I was saying, what really sucks about automatic transmissions and steep grassy hills is they can't handle the load. They just, it's simple, they can't. They suck, they're only meant for one thing pavement princess they're meant to go up grassy hills that are really kind of slim so instead of something like this like what we have they're meant to go up something like this really really small we don't have that here but manuals what's really cool about manuals is you can select your own gear and they're a lot more tougher they can take a bigger beating they can take a bigger load because they're going through their own independent gear the lowest gears, as you guys already know, lowest gears are the strongest, higher gears are the weakest. Why? Because every time you go on a high gear, you're putting a lot of engine stress onto that transmission to make it go faster. So the chances of you having that transmission slip is really, really high. So you always want to keep that in like a, I want to say three at the most. Three at the most when mowing with these. Maybe four, but that's pushing it. And whenever you're under a load, one and two. But I love these uh, these manuals because of the ground clearance. They're easy to operate and you have control of the transmission. You can select your gears, whereas an automatic, it's only forward reverse. If you don't like it, too bad for you. So, you know, that's pretty much it. Uh, and this is, this is all stuff you guys gotta think about when you're buying a mower. You can't just go up to a mower and go, oh, that'll mow my property. I mean, sure, it will, but you wanna be thinking of a mower that's good, not only gonna last, more than 400 hours but you're also going to want to have a mower that's going to do the job not just mow lawn because there's going to be a time for us where we have to mow uh carry that trailer carry that salt wagon i mean there's a lot of stuff here for these mowers to do we're not just treating them and beating them on trails we're also having them do the general maintenance on the property here and part of being uh able to do that general maintenance is having strong mowers like this so whenever you get a mower always look for the engine always look at the transmission and always look at the way it's built if you see a manual transmission that is a spicer or a peerless or just actually any manual transmission it's going to be pretty all right but if you look at an automatic and you look at your property it just you just got to make sure you're buying the right mowers for yourself um i have a whole nother video on talking about engines and transmissions and stuff to buy a mower so um i'll be covering that much much later i don't want to waste your guys' time so we will now make our way over 
to the blade deck. I have it tarped here under the 140 because these are our babies. This was tarped, but I could see it tore, so I might just have to just recenter the tarp and just call that a day. But anyways, this is the deck. Pretty dirty, but it's not bad, you know. Um, both of these spindles are seized, but the pulleys move just fine. They move really fine, actually. And what I'm thinking of doing is just stripping everything apart, repainting it, classic yellow on the top, uh, probably two coats of classic yellow on the top with the uh, paint and primer mix, and then two coats of the heavy duty black paint and primer, Rust-Oleum under the blade deck, since that's what's actually taking the painting the most. But yeah, no, there it is. The old 42 inch deck. Everything works on it, I mean, casters caster you know that they do their caster thing i don't know what to say about that but that's the deck that it came with and like i said it's going to be a lawn mower so that's the deck all righty and before i go to show you the uh the kohler and the v-twin bridge we're going to put in it you see here looks like something shoot that gas cap i think i can just put a gas cap on it but this has the really good steering, my favorite, the best steering known in lawnmower history, right there. The old flat plate steering, my favorite. Um, all right, you guys, so that's pretty much it with this pool on. I'm going to take you guys to see the Kohler engine that was on it. So I'll get right back to you guys when I go do that. All right, you guys, this is the Kohler courage 19 horsepower dual cam now for some of you guys you might say oh that's a familiar sight and i wouldn't doubt you this is junk right before your very eyes absolute built to fail this came with the classic v valve cover and i, I probably won't the most that i can save off of this is the dipstick the blower shroud, mm, maybe this piece, maybe the fuel pump too, actually, that might still be working, but that's pretty much it. Everything else here is just junk. It's locked up, like I was telling you guys, just locked up, seized. But there it is, and there's that plug wire I was telling you guys about. So we'll be ending up snapping that off, snipping that off. And mangling it with the Briggs and Stratton and stuff. So now I'll show you guys the V-twin that will be put into this beautiful baby. Alrighty. I actually forgot to tell you guys. I picked up a Poulon weed eater. Oh Jesus, a Poulon weed whacker at the dump too and it works so dual pool on right on sorry about the shop being a bit of a mess we were working on Chuck just last night trying to get that transmission dealt with for a future video and just way too tired to clean up there is the Briggs and Stratton beauty a hunk of chunk a big Bertha, baby. I mean, mwah, beautiful. 10 out of 10. So, this does have a foot throttle on it, but I'm going to convert it to the old fashioned hand because it's a lawnmower, it's not a race car. Um, we'll probably save that foot throttle for something. But yeah, there it is. The big baby. One of the best motors I've ever ran, apart from that gorgeous girl, the old twin cam Kohler. Had that one for. Jesus, ages at least. We've had this baby for a while. But yeah, no, that's pretty much it, guys. Let me just walk out here. Oh, forgot to close the light. <laughs> Jesus, forgot to shut off the light. Gotta close the door. Alrighty, I'll actually pick all that stuff up after this video. I like to have a neat shop. Alrighty, 
another quick update though. The Husqvarna is sadly going to be leaving us. The customer will be picking it up next week. All I'm going to be doing is replacing the belt. Or not replacing it, I already replaced it. Giving him a spare belt, two new pulleys because <clears throat> it needs it. And uh, right here, the gasket came off of the fuel line, so I ordered a new one. But yeah, she's a stout unit. She'll be leaving the trails. But it was fun when we had her. Good memories. He'll be taking good care of that rig. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. What a unit. I can't wait to make videos on this thing. Um, I know I tried to make videos on Chuck doing a V-Twin swap, and it sucked. I think I only made one, maybe two videos, and that's it. I just kind of left you guys hanging. Um, I'm not doing that with this thing. We're going to be doing this step-by-step, -step, just like the Suburban. We're still waiting for parts, but <clears throat> we're not leaving you guys out in the loop. In fact, we're going to bring you in the loop a little. And... Uh, start getting these mowers rocking and rolling i mean we're gonna have one two three four i'm hoping for four lawnmowers this year working mowing lawnmowers um we're gonna have the pool on the simplicity that's right the simplicity is coming back to mow a lawn we still have the deck to it and the 140 over there so that'll be pretty cool pretty cool to have and i also forgot to tell you guys i'm buying another mower it's the same thing as this but instead of saying pool on it says craftsman and it's a hydrostatic but i'll save that for another video but uh that's pretty much it guys i just wanted to keep you guys in the loop future videos on chuck the suburban the pre uh eh, maybe yeah i know the predator engine um the husqvarna and this pool on so a lot of videos to make a lot of things to get done I hope you guys are going to enjoy the content. I'm going to be working really hard, especially on this one to get it done. Because, uh, you know, mowing season's coming up. And we're going to have to make that engine bay full. And I'll also, it'll be a good time for me to show you guys the tips and tricks I used for Chuck. So you guys literally get to see what it was like to put the engine in Chuck. You know, you guys get to see it with quality video like a GoPro instead of some danky iPhone that only captures about a quarter of the screen, leaving a little bit of black you know so this is gonna be pretty cool a nice build and you guys will be able to see it for your very eyes and i have all the parts for this build too so we can actually get it done bam the only parts i don't have are the parts for the blade deck um but i mean just to get this thing running and driving i got the pulleys i got the engine i got more belts than i i got belts <laughs> i got plenty of belts and um i just got the shop filled with uh plenty of um liquid wrench and wd-40 not sponsored just just saying that but um yeah that's pretty much it guys remember to like comment subscribe i hope you enjoyed this content i'm just letting you guys know for this video what kind of videos are coming up ahead because it's going to be pretty exciting and pretty all right and if we're really lucky we might be able to have the mowers done this summer for a ep epic mud romp this summer with the mowers which is gonna be pretty cool um but yeah like i said before remember to like comment subscribe check out our instagram guys please come on check out the instagram check out the patreon if you want to uh, not by force of course and also when we go to do these builds i'm going to be leaving links below on what kind of stuff you have to buy if you want to to do this v-twin swap especially with these type of mowers so keep your eyes out for future content ahead <clears throat> hope you guys stay safe and I will catch you guys next time.